already received. Tell me, please. I'm very eager to find out. You feel there's a level of disrespect there? Definitely. <laughs> You're looking past me. I think so. Uh, <laughs> I was looking to fight uh, back out, but there's only one problem. He's going to fight me first. <laughs> How was your trip abroad? You went on a little like uh, island hopping trip. Oh man, yeah, my Caribbean trip was awesome. Man. Started off in Antigua, or Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico, Antigua. And then from Antigua, I went to Florida, and Florida, Bahamas. I don't recommend Bahamas to anyone. Really? It's a waste of time, waste of money, rude people. Ooh. <laughs> Nothing. I feel like a slap in the face. You know, that's, that's just it. You, know, you don't do that. Not with me, you don't, anyways. Because if you're doing that right now, you should find your ass on the staff, September 17th. I'm sorry, Victor, what's a slap in the face? You know, uh, overlooking me. No. Oh. Fight Pacquiao. You know what I mean? I, Pacquiao's a great fighter, but hey, I'm world champion for a reason. Victor, for those who are not accustomed yeah. to are you getting more comfortable with it? I was born for this, to be honest with you. You know, it's one of those things where people just never gave me a shot or a chance, man. And now I'm here and I'm taking it Monica. by the horn. So you're looking forward to the 24-7 yeah, uh, exposure of that time? Definitely so. Oh yeah. 24-7 and all. Victor, it made me angry my weather because I'm not angry. 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 I'm not
I'm supposed to be a piece of crap when everybody's out there. You know what I'm not? On the first press conference, you were really quiet. Today, you kind of went all out. What happened? I went all out because I'm in the West Coast, man. It's a little different than the East Coast. I, they didn't receive me like they did today. Yeah, that's true. That's so true. I just kind of was like, all right, I'm going to let him do his thing. I'm going to go off whatever he does. Today, I'm like, it's home. Everybody thinks of him as a runner, a speedy guy, defensive. But he's also pretty physical and comes inside and can grab on you and jump the hips. What do you have to prepare in terms of sparring partners, a mix? Whatever he wants to fight. Whatever style he wants to fight. He wants to box, we'll box. He wants to ball, we're all, we're going to ball. Let's do a mixture, let's do it. In terms of uh, sparring partners, you guys are going to have to pick a mixture. Oh yeah, go ahead. Fantastic. Is that gonna? Uh, do you know when that begins and when that ends? July first. July first. And then it goes all day. The September seventh. Wonderful. No problem. But you didn't have a game. Blink at that. You're like fine. Yeah, let's do it. It's that Olympic style testing. Let's do it. Do you think it matters to just do it in those eight weeks, or do you think uh, to know people are clean, they should do it all year round in and out of competition? I don't know about it. I'll do it all year long if they need to. Victor, how, how do you beat a Floyd Mayweather? Well, that's one of those things where I got to listen to my coaches and stuff, but right now I'm not particularly in training camp, so I don't even know what, what to really tell you or even talk about. I haven't watched any footage. I don't know what he's about. I've seen him 5,000 years ago, so I don't really know. What, what, what has your coach told you so far? You haven't told me anything. We haven't watched any footage. Nothing at all? We're not, we're not in training camp. Here's the thing about my team and I. Anytime we're not in training camp, we don't discuss boxing. Right, right. Period. right, right. He, does, he does his thing, I do mine. I'm traveling. Is it, is it true you marched in the Golden Boy after the Birdo fight and said, I want to fight in the Mayweather? I did that before the fight. Really? Yep. I said, uh, three months before I fought uh, Berto. I went, I marched into Golden Boy office and I said, I want Andre Berto. Everybody's jaw dropped. And I said, and after I knock him out, I want Mayweather. Just because you were tired of I was just tired. I was tired of everything. Do you think the Mayweather layoff activity? Ah, no, no, no. The layoffs don't ever mean anything. That's everybody's opinion. I think that's, uh, that's something you can't overlook. You know, the man looks fit, looks in shape, you know what? Let's do each his own. Let's do it. Whatever you want. I know you've always felt that you, you could fight at this level of fight. And, and maybe they were holding you back a bit. As you look back on it now, do you think that maybe it would have managed to you that you would have that dream to find your time and now you got the chance? Gracias. 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 Gracias.